My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some LandBot. LandBot is a chatbot. It's a very easy to use chatbot. It's very intuitive. It can integrate with a lot of applications like MailChimp or WhatsApp for business. And we'll, today we will create a simple chatbot. We will use some of the features. We will work with variables, send an email, and maybe do a little survey. So let's get started. First, you will need to navigate to landbot.io and then just click get started. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about chatbots and automation. Then we will put in our email here. I'll put in mine. This one will just be chatbot at clonesdk. Then a simple password like here and sign up for free. So now we are, will wait a few seconds and now we, it says welcome to Landbot. Fine. My name that is Anas Jensen and my company name. Well, I don't have any company name. I'm just myself, but we could say AJ tutorials and we'll click start so what are we what best describes our company let me delete this one um, well it's education so uh, let's uh, help them here and specify education and we'll click plus what do you intend to, intend to use landbot for and how well, I actually want to make videos and I want to make surveys so let's click surveys and quizzes so what best describes your experience working with chatbots? Well, we just click intermediate. We'll select what tools uh, you currently use. Well, I use MailChimp, Google Analytics, Google Sheets, WhatsApp, Salesforce, and then just click finish. So now we will be redirected to our bot. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. Let us uh, say, um, no thank you to this and then just build a robot so uh, let us skip this so what we'll see here is our canvas what we'll do here is that we'll first we'll have a welcome message that's the welcome message the user sees we can uh, try to preview it and this is actually our chatbot and we can see here that, it's, that the bot says hi there and then there will be a gif and then the user can choose an option usually there will be several options however now he can only say hi we can see that over here and now the chatbot ended so uh, let's uh, edit this chatbot and let's make it more useful so close the preview and now we're here first of all let's change this we could say something like hi i'm roberto and I'm working for Anders. So this is my robot. Then we can choo uh, choose to change the, the GIF here. So click the pen. And then we'll choose Giphy here. And we can just say, welcome. We can search for that. That you worked. And maybe we can just take uh, this one. That's fine. So we have this one instead. Then we can see here that the user could uh, specify uh, what he wanna, uh, or we could specify what the user wanna, uh, could type in. And now we just go with hi, that's okay. Then we wanna add the next component. And what's really smart here is that we'll just drag from this default here, we'll just drag to the next block. Now we will send a message to the user. So click send message. And here we will just say awesome. You're here, like this. We could add a, a media again. So uh, let's click the media. I don't know why you have to click twice, but you actually do. And we could ask Landbot about that. But let's click the pen up here and click Giphy again. And we could, uh, maybe we could just search for awesome actually. So uh, let's not swear here and we can take this one maybe in a chatbot, in a serious chatbot, you wouldn't use all of these GIFs. However, uh, my tutorials, they're usually quite laid back, so we'll just go with that. So now we got a welcome message, and now we can ask the user for uh, an input. Let's ask him or her what he or she thinks of my tutorials. So let's drag in a new block, and what we'll do here, is that we'll scroll a little bit down, and we can see questions. We'll just use the text here, now we can edit it over here. So uh, we can say, what do you think 
of Anders's video tutorials. So that's quite an easy question. And tutorials. And now we don't use buttons. We'll just let the user write whatever he, he or she wants. We, we can see here that we can store it in the variable. And per default, it's text. However, I'll store it in review here. And we'll click create. So now we created a new variable uh, of the type string. And it's called review. So far, so good. Then we'll just click save changes and we're done. We can mark it and we can see that we got it over here again. So uh, now um, we asked uh, we asked uh, him or her of a review of our site and we, add, we stored it in a variable. So let's ask the user what he or she wants now. So uh, we will drag out uh, another one here. And now we'll choose a button. That's the one we used here as well, so choose button. And we could ask, what do you want to do now? We could have um, two options. We can have one here, and this one could be watch a tutorial. And the second option could be subscribe to Anders' newsletter. So now we will have a tree. So if the user choose watch a tutorial, then we'll go up here and otherwise we'll go down here. So if he wants to watch a tutorial, then we will um, go over. Let me go over here. And what we'll do is that we will ask what the user wants to see. So we'll choose a button again. What do you want to see, right? And then uh, we can have two options again. We could have a um, UI path, and then we could have a, another option called Open RPA. Then, then we can drag out. So if the user specify he want to see UI path tutorial, then we can go here. Otherwise, it's Open RPA. We can go down here. So let's create the UI path first. We will choose the media. And then we will choose a YouTube because that's where my tutorials are. I'll go to my channel page here. I'll just pick one of the most viewed. So I'll pick this one. Let me just get their link. I'm sorry, this is in Danish, but I'll just copy in their link address. So let's go back to Landbot and then we'll paste in and we can see that we actually instantly get the picture up here. So now when the user uh, click UI path, he will get this tutorial. And if he clicks open RPA, we can uh, scroll a little bit down. Open RPA is, by the way, a great and nice open source RPA product. Then we'll click right click and copy a link here. Then we'll paste it in here and click send. So now we have um, we have these two options. And then we want to um, ask again if you want to um, subscribe to our um, newsletter. So uh, let's, let us go here and we can ask, uh, do you, sorry, I'm not writing. Do you want to subscribe to Anders newsletter? And I know this is, uh, this uh, whole workflow is quite simple. You could uh, easily make it more complex. However, for a good understanding, we will make this workflow today. So do you want to subscribe to Anders' newsletter? The first action, that could be uh, yes, please. The second option, that could be uh, no, zero interest. Goodbye. Now, first we will create, um, we can drag this because this will end here if we're not doing anything. So uh, this one will also go up here. Uh, so when they watch this tutorials, these two tutorials, they'll go to this button. And that one will ask if they want to subscribe to my newsletter. So uh, it's your interest, goodbye. Then we will, uh, if it's zero interest, goodbye, then we will create a uh, message. Let me do that first. So that will be send message. And we can just say, um, I'm something like, I'm happy to have talked to you. Please have a good day. And then we can um, add in a media. And again, we'll need to click it a couple of times. We'll choose a Giphy. And then we'll just say, 
buy and we will get a buy giphy let's choose this nice dog here and then we'll click then we're done here because this node will end however say that they want to um, subscribe to the newsletter then we can move the tree down here and we could also um, so now we can ask we can ask a question first we will ask what their name is so scroll a little bit down then questions name what's your name we can see it over here and it will store it in a name variable well that's good enough for us because uh, we, so we will just leave it by the default and we can see here that we got a uh, subscribe subscribe node up here so we need to connect that with this one again so now they both both of the subscriptions they they'll end down here so far so good we can scroll a little bit down like this so now um, we will uh, ask for uh, the user's name and then we'll store it in the name variable so then we can um, type in a message so let's do that and we can we can say something like uh, uh, hello and then we could uh, tell uh, the name of the user and uh, so that's it and we'll just say hello or whatever the user's name uh, is like this now we can ask uh, about the email so let's drag in another question email here and we can again see what's your email and it will be stored in the email variable again we could create a new variable like we did up here with the review or up here in the question with the text however let's just leave it as, the, as it is so now we got both the name and the email we could ask if the um, if it's re it is really correct that the user's uh, name and info that he typed the correct information in so let's have a button and then we could just say something like do you want to edit the info and then we could uh, specify here name and we can even make it bold and then we could uh, make it unbold and then what we'll do is that we'll just put in the name variable like this let's uh, do this and then we could um, have the email we can make that bold too and then we will uh, have the email variable oh sorry I messed up in the bold thing here so now we will ask the user do you want to edit the info and then we'll display what he typed in as a name and what he typed in as an email then we will um, click some uh, have some buttons here we could the first one could could say something like no everything is good then the next one could be uh, yes uh, my name needs to be edited and then the last thing could be yes my email needs to be edited like this and we can see here that we could easily change the position of these we could just uh, drag this up and down so we could change the uh, position very easily so let's say that everything is uh, fine then we can just uh, have a an outro message so uh, if everything is fine then we will just uh, move down here and we will just send a message and then what we'll do here is that we'll say uh, excellent let me just close this one down here excellent um, we are all done and you will receive an email from Anders and then we could uh, for the fun of it let's uh, let's add in a uh, gif again and let's just search for excellent uh, well we'll have this one like this now what we'll need to do here is that we'll need to if the user wants to edit his or her name then we could add in a, another question that'll be here so what's your name and then uh, we will store it in the name so this one will override what we had up here and then afterwards we'll just go to this completion message like this and again the same thing with the email 
And again, you can see here that my canvas is, is important to keep your canvas clean. So maybe you want to build from left to right um, instead of this uh, left to right to down. So uh, then we'll ask about email and then we'll go over here to this uh, completion message. So now we are essentially all done. We got a working chatbot. However, let's try to send an email with uh, both a review and um, a name and an email if that exists. So uh, then what we'll do is that we'll go over here. And then what we'll need to find here is that we'll need to find an integration. So integration, send an email here. Uh, we can see here that we will get it from AJ Tutorials, that's fine. We want to test, send it to my mail, and this one will be RPA test, Cloanus DK. Then the subject, that could be new subscriber. Review. And what we'll do is that we'll simply just print in the information that we got up here. So review, and then we'll say review, because what you let me go up here. What we'll did up here, uh, let me just first save it. We will store it, uh, this review under the review variable. So let's scroll down again and finalize this uh, email to leads. So, so we got the review, then we will have the name like this, name, and then what we'll have next is email. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about automation and chatbots. So now we're done. We created an email with the results and we created a working chatbot. But shouldn't we see it in function, right? So let's click save and we'll click preview. So now our chatbot is running. We could, of course, also customize it. So I'm Roberto. I'm working for Anders. Hi. Our chatbot is, says, Autumn, you're here. What do you think of Anders' video tutorials? Well, I think they are great since his knowledge is deep. I know it's me writing, so uh, take the words with a grain of salt. His knowledge is deep, however, the sound could improve. Could improve. Like this. Then we'll just click enter and now the chatbot right what do you want to do now we can either watch a tutorial or subscribe let's watch a tutorial what do you want to see i want to see open rpa then we can see that the embedded um, ui uh, sorry youtube open rpa uh, video is here and we can even have some sound if we wanted this one was a really great interview I did with uh, the founder of uh, OpenRPA, so go watch that if you want. Then the chatbot asks us, do we want to subscribe to Anders' newsletter? Yes, please. Uh, what's your name? It's Anders Jensen. And by the way, we could also have done this to a mobile phone. We can see it up here, we US. Then we'll type in our email and this one. Oh, let us just choose my mail because then it's a little bit different. My mail at domain.com here. Just a random generic email. Then the chatbot. Do we want to edit the following info? No, everything is good. Then uh, the chatbot says, excellent, we're all done. And you'll see it, receive an email from Anders and this GIF. So that is really great. We could close the preview. And of course, we could have chosen another path of our tree. We could have ended up over here. But this was a, a quick uh, setup of their landbot chatbot. And let me know if you've got any questions. Let me know if you want to have uh, some deeper explanations. Let me know if you want to have me build a more advanced chatbot. So, uh, and uh, yeah, that's it for now. Have a good day. Bye-bye.